All right, so this is a little golf ball mortar that I made a few years ago. Uh, it's just some pipe welded together. Got a thick end here so it can handle the blast of some gunpowder. And uh, I just built it to shoot golf balls. The trouble is I still have no idea how far it shoots. <clears throat> uh, I'd always lose the ball after shooting it. And so what I've got it set up here, I've got it set it up parallel to the ground on the flattest spot I could find. And this way I'll be able to see where in the snow the ball hits and then estimate the speed that the ball was going. It give me a rough idea of how fast it shoots and then maybe I can figure out how far it shoots from there. Should be a lot easier to find in the snow. I've got the golf ball painted uh, red but the snow will allow me to follow the track of the ball. Alright, let's light it. <clears throat> it's kind of a slow fuse. Where's my dog? <laughs> Alright, stay there Max. It's got uh, three spoonfuls of black powder. All right. And the gun, the recoil knocked it off the box. Uh, somewhere under the snow, here it is. I thought it might do that. Usually I put a rock or something behind it. One day I plan to like put wheels or something on there, make it look like a cannon. But it works just fine as it is. And well, now I gotta go find the ball. This could take a while. Alright. Me and Max are over here on the uh hillside that I had the gun aimed at about an eighth of a mile away can't even see the gun from here it's somewhere over there walked all the way over here and didn't see any sign of the ball I figured this is as far as it could have possibly came we just been kind of combing the hillside looking for an impact mark All right, I found it. You can see here, this mark in the snow. It was actually Max who found it. I've trained him to detect a black powder smell, so. <laughs> All right, so that's, that is an eighth of a mile, at least. Probably should have used a shorter box. It looks like, oh yeah. There's actually a mark right here, it must have bounced. All right, that flew pretty straight actually. Well, it's a little off to the right from where I fired it from. All right, so it bounced. What if, all right, let's dig up the ball first, see if I can find the ball. hand with the glove on. <laughs> Looks like, yep, here's the ball. Looks like most of the red paint's been blown off of it, but you can see as it rubbed through the barrel. Alright, 
see if I can find where I hit first. <laughs> now that I know it's general direction. <laughs> you can see I walked right past it earlier. <laughs> the gun must have angled up a little bit as it fired. Uh, oh, zoomed in. There you can see the the box over there on the horizon. That shot pretty far. Just walk straight towards it, see if I find any more marks. I should have been counting my footsteps. So it doesn't look like it hit anywhere else. I walked right through there. All right. I'll go back to where that looks like the first impact mark. Looks like it hit at a pretty shallow angle, so must not have had very much upward motion. I'm gonna go ahead and count my paces back to the gun, and uh, that'll give me at least an upper limit of the speed that it was shooting. All right, back here at the gun. Took 253 strides to get over here from the first impact mark that I saw. I didn't see any coming over, and I walked straight back. You see the gun? I had it fired that direction. The ball was that direction. So I shot a little bit to the left. It's not bad though. I mean, it's not great, great aerodynamics, and it's pretty light. Uh, so 253 strides, I average about two and a half feet per stride. It's uh, roughly two and a half feet above the ground. I'll do the math later, but that must have been pretty fast.